Hi, welcome to The Modern Plank. My name is Joe Pirelli, and we're here in Larkspur, California at the Tavern at Lark Creek. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a wonderful product from Italy called Dimi. Dimi is not widely popular just yet, but I've seen it used in some very creative ways uh, by a lot of bartenders who enjoy working with it when coming up with new drinks because it has this very nice complex yet subtle flavor profile that works in so many different directions. Basically what Dimi is, is it begins as a neutral grain spirit distilled from winter wheat. It then undergoes two infusions. The first one is based on a recipe from 1932 and it includes herbs and botanicals and spices. The second infusion is what gives it the fruity component and it comes from the flower essences of peach and apricot. Then after the second infusion, they add a touch of Nebbiola Grappa, which brings the whole thing together and gives it a nice crisp bite. All right, welcome to the bar, let's make our drink. To start out with, I'm gonna first measure out the non-alcoholic components of the drink, the juices and syrups that go into it. This way, if I've made a mistake in measurement and I need to start over, I'm not wasting any of the spirit itself. First, I'm gonna prepare my lemon for juicing. And even though I'm measuring the uh, lemon juice out, I would like to mention that when using fresh juices, you should always, always taste your drink before presenting it to your guest. Lemons vary slightly in uh, the degree of sourness, so you might have to adjust your drink just a little before serving it. Almost a full ounce of lemon juice. I'm gonna then put in a half ounce of a syrup, a honey syrup which I've prepared ahead of time by mixing equal parts hot water and honey and then chilling it down in the cooler. I'm also going to include three quarters of an ounce of maraschino liqueur. Now I'm adding two ounces of the demi. I have a nice healthy amount so that we get to taste the full expression of those complex flavors. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to give it a quick taste just to make sure that my flavors are all in balance. That's delicious. Yeah. Chill the drink down so we want to make sure that we have a nice full shaker of ice. Get a nice tight seal and chill. We're going to go ahead and double strain or fine strain the drink into a cocktail glass. Peel my citrus directly over the drink so that we get all of those essential oils from the peel floating right on top of the drink, giving it a nice aroma and gently around the rim of the glass. And there you have it, the summer wind. <laughs>